been all over, covering events, talking to people, and talking to myself, aka vlogging. Now I'm headed to the London 2012 Olympics, and I'm taking you with me. I'm Cassidy Quinn, and welcome to London 2012. Do, 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 Cassidy Quinn. Here in London, for the games, there is a house for pretty much every National Olympic Committee, aka NOC as we call it for short, that's playing here in the games. So tonight I'm on my way to the Russia house, which if you don't know, the next Winter Olympics in two years are happening in Sochi, Russia. Sochi 2014. So I'm heading into the Russia house to watch an ice dancing show, which I don't really know what to expect, but it should be pretty cool. So uh, let's go check out the Sochi house and see what this ice show has in store for us all. Wow, that was a really exciting show. Like I said before, I had no idea what to expect, but it was amazing. I've never seen anything like that. The ice dancing was so beautiful. or plots, I should say. There were many plots going on in this whole two-hour long performance. There was romance. <laughs> there was death. There was sadness. There were fight scenes. Police chase scenes. rain. Yes, I said it. It was raining inside the little Russia ice arena. And throughout the show, there were a bunch of allusions made to Russian railways, because they're actually building entirely new railways just for Sochi 14. in the audience got these amazingly attractive Russia hats. Pretty excited about it because not only is it an awesome hat, but all of the dancers in the show wore these same hats at the end of the performance. I have to my symphonia. So we got to take a little piece of the show home with us. So since this show was so amazing and entertaining, I am very much looking forward to the Sochi 2014 Olympic Winter Games, which hopefully Fingers crossed, I will be there for it. And I'm gonna guess that there's probably going to be some ice dancing involved in the opening ceremony. So if that happens in a year and a half, just tell everyone I told you first. And I am definitely going to keep this hat on hand for when I am in Sochi in a year and a half. I'm gonna say it now so that I can't go back on it. It's in writing or video now. It's out there on the internet. I have to do it. 